Hello, dear viewers, and welcome to our program. Coming to you every day on KTV2 channel, Kuwait Maps. is a variety and social program that sheds light on the out and about in the state of Kuwait, mainly the mechanism and workflow of the governmental institutions and key state bodies. With the aim of fulfilling our social responsibilities, Kuwait Maps is emphasizing on the privileges and services being provided by the local agencies as well as highlighting the information and data being acquired by both citizens and residents. In this journey, we will take you to a new destination to explore another national entity that is crucially contributing in the process of pushing the wheel of progress in the state of Kuwait. Today, we will explore the Emergency Medical Department in Kuwait. The Kuwait Oil Company, represented by the medical group, is striving to be the best in Kuwait and then at the regional level by providing emergency medical services by the hospital with quality and efficiency in performance. To achieve this goal, the group has raised the efficiency of its employees by providing the latest equipment and machinery to keep pace with the development in this field. It is also keen to provide urgent health care outside the hospital for all employees by covering the company's work areas and developing non-urgent services by transporting patients carefully and punctually. And appropriate preparation for accidents and disasters by preparing plans, training, equipment and mechanisms. Considering and maintaining the systems and regulations of the Kuwait Oil Company and the laws of the state of Kuwait. Joining us, uh, Dr. Ahmed Shatli, consultant in occupational and environmental medicine, to give us more details about the EMS department. People are talking about medical uh, emergencies, and we uh, usually will say uh, emergency medical services. And they mix up between ambulances and the emergency rooms and the casualty and the hospitals. We'll be concentrating on the ambulances. Now we are very proud to have our uh, share of female uh, paramedics as well. Uh, they are coming out of the uh, uh, Allied Health School uh, and they are proved to be effective, uh, productive, and we are very proud to have them all. Uh, I'm, I'm recently joined the, uh, the EM, EMS or the Emergency Medical Service as a director. But I can say I'm very proud of the stories I'm hearing, saving a life, uh, alleviating the pain, and sometimes uh, make a big difference, not only for the patient, but also for the family as well. And uh, I've decided to call them heroes because they are really saving lives. And uh, in our religion, usually say, woman those, or he who save a life as if he is saving the mankind. So this is really rewarding from uh, ethical, religious, as professional point of view. The female paramedics joined the line of service in 2010 with around 50 paramedics. The public authority for applied education and training provided the proper medical training. All courses are designed based on the requirements of local medical data international standards, and of course, culture. Over 100 female paramedics joined forces with other co-workers to complete the institution and to be efficient. Paramedics, new ambulances, and the air ambulance service would enforce the medical emergency services as a pivotal entity in the medical institution in Kuwait. Despite of the fact that uh, Kuwait is a small country, but still we have our own remote area. Near the borders, 
where there is no residential kind of areas. So uh, every now and then we have uh, emergency cases. It may take some time to, for the ambulances to reach the places there. So the alternative usually is to go for the nearest uh, land place for the helicopters or, or the plane. And from there, they are transported to the nearest casualty or uh, ER, which is the emergency rooms in general hospitals. Uh, and that will save a life. And not only save time, effort, and minimize the risk as much as we can. It depends how much critical is the case. And uh, last year, we have saved around 1,000 uh, operation of evacuating patient or helping them. So uh, this is something we are very proud. Uh, we look forward with the increase of uh, the population from one place to another. With the increase of the, uh, let's say, the, the new cities that's coming in place, uh, they need their infrastructure. So we are planning for each residential area, medical center and transfer. In Sabah Al Ahmed area, we have a, a unique uh, example where we have Sabah Al Ahmed emergency center. So there we have, although we are talking about primary health care, but there they are being covering the southern area for accident, for uh, complicated cases, fracture, bleeding, uh, um, and it goes even into the medical cases, uh, the, the pediatric cases of, of children and orthopedic, uh, and they are well equipped with the sophisticated investigation as well as uh, uh, the, the X-ray uh, category. The newest addition that joined the emergency medical services. This service is a major player now that made a massive shift. The service is also a border crosser that will engage in a case of a serious incident to deliver the patient to the nearest medical institution. Five main Hilabad scattered all around Kuwait, all in hospitals. The control center in As Sabah Medical District. Pilots are trained to engage and navigate in the most difficult situations. The helicopters are provided with the best medical equipment. This new addition managed to make an impact in the medical process. Many incidents were saved by the interference of air ambulance. EMS is making progress to serve citizens and residents based on the international standards and more, medicinally and emotionally as well. The COVID-19 situation made EMS the major player in the medical institution as the whole unit was serving the country. We are planning now with the expansion of the Matla area uh, and to replicate the uh, successful example of Sabah Al Ahmed Emergency Center. But all the new areas, they have their own, uh, what shall I say, uh, infrastructure by default. Once you have a residential area, you have the co-op, you have the, uh, uh, the, the schools, you have the medical center and many other things. Well, it's, it's a, as I have told you, default. This is the right of any residential area to have cover. For example, in, in, in Sabah Al Ahmed, we have five primary health care. In Sa'id Al Abdullah residential area, we have uh, three. In Jabr Al Ahmed, we have three because the population are exceeding 100,000. So not only we give the center, but also we try to match the catchment area, the density of the population. Because for us, by, by constitution of Kuwait, the right of health is guaranteed for every uh, citizen and indeed the residents in Kuwait.
More details with Usama Al Middhan, head of the Public Relations and Coordination Department at the Emergency Medical Department. Thank you for having me on your show and our latest in our Emergency Medical Service Department, which is uh, introducing the new ambulance vehicles that's going to be arriving and joining the service line of ambulance vehicles and of course opening uh, more ambulance centers it depends on uh, the spread of uh, areas of uh, uh, towns and uh, new towns that is coming up uh, for example the uh, west uh, abdallah and barak i think southwest abdallah and barak uh, is a new area and we have a new center that uh, we are preparing to open it uh, and and uh, of course Right now, we are standing at the bridge of Jabir, uh, Sheikh Jabir Ahmed Bridge. And this is the newest center that we have right now. And it's, uh, uh, it covers from the Shuaikh port all the way down the bridge to the end of the bridge, where is uh, Bobian Island. And it covers the bridge itself, it covers the land and the water, the sea itself. Any incidents that happens in the water or on land, they will cover it. So this is the newest uh, ambulance centers we have in our service. The vehicle behind me that you see uh, has a unique uh, entrance and exit uh, doors. And they have uh, an easy access to uh, uh, boards that, that, that you can uh, use to carry people and to move people around. And you don't have to actually enter the side of the vehicle. They have a special sliding door on the other side that you can uh, easy access to, you can reach it and deal with it and you can, read, you can put it back easily without having to open the, the vehicle from the inside. In Ramadan, it goes without saying, Salat al-Taraweeh will be there. And uh, if anything, I, I want to warn uh, and discuss with you the pattern of problem we are having. Near iftar time, usually we have a car accident because people, as if, uh, you know, they, they are sub, yeah. So this is not acceptable. And sometimes we have serious and cases, which is very unfortunate. Also, we deal with people who are going to Hajj uh, for Umrah uh, on the highways. Every season in Ramadan, we lose two to three Kuwaiti people traveling and they, they take it continuously. They are sleepy or over speed and they are losing life. Until then, stay tuned for more topics and updates that concern the society and benefit Kuwaiti citizens and residents as well.